Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at standard form. Often scientists work with really big or really small numbers. For example, the distance from the Earth to the Sun is 149,600,000,000 metres. And also the diameter of an atom will be 0 0.0000000002 metres. Now those are really crazy numbers. It'd be nice if we could write them in a shorter way. So we could write the distance from the Earth to the Sun as 1.496 times 10 to the power 11, or the diameter of the atom as 2 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. And that is standard form. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert normal numbers to standard form and standard form numbers to real numbers. Okay. Standard form looks like this, where it's some number times 10 to the power something, where the number at the start is a number between 1 and 10. It can be 1, it cannot be 10, and it can be a decimal. For example, it can be 1.02, 2.5, 4, and 9.996. It cannot be 0 0.9, that's not between 1 and 10, 23.8, and it can't be fractions either, it can't be 6 fifths. Now, n must be a positive, uh, whole positive or negative number. So it must be a whole number. Uh, for example, it could be 3, it could be 8, it could be minus 21, or it could be 106. It could be positive or negative, but it does need to be a whole number. Example 1, we're going to convert these numbers into standard form. So 54 billion 800 million. Okay, so we're going to write that out. I'm going to move the decimal until we get a number between 1 and 10. I move the decimal 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 places. So I recommend you actually join out those curly arrows to show how far you've moved the decimal. We are moving it from where the decimal was in the original number after the last 0 until we get a decimal between 1 and 10 over there. And we get 5.48 times 10 to the power 10 because we've moved the decimal 10 places. Notice the 5.48 looks very similar to the original uh, number 5480000. So the first few digits will be the same. So here we get a number between 1 and 10, and yes, the power is also a positive or negative whole number. Now we're going to do the same with the decimal at the bottom. We're going to move the decimal until we get a number between 1 and 10. And here we get 3.28. And to do that, we've moved the decimal six places. But we've moved it the other direction. We've moved it to the right. And so we get a negative power here. So we get the answer 3.28 times 10 to the power minus 6. And that's the final answer because this is between 1 and 10. And this is a positive whole or uh uh, or negative number. And we've done. That's converting numbers to standard form. Let's go the other way now. Let's convert these numbers to normal numbers. So 5.49 times 10 to the power 4. We're going to move decimal 1, 2, 3, 4 places and fill in the missing uh, digits with zeros. And we get 54,900. Like that. Notice I've just moved the decimal four places and moved it to the right because it's a positive power. And again, the digits are very similar. 5.49, 5.4900. Very similar digits. Now, 8.3 times 10 to the minus 2. 8.3, move the de decimal two places and fill in the uh, missing digits with zeros. And I get 0 0.0093. 83. 0.083, there. And again, that's correct. That is the final answer. Okay. And we've done. You can now uh, notice that the positive uh, powers make big numbers and the negative powers make small decimals. Okay. So look at the one on the top. That is a positive power. It makes a big number, whereas the negative power makes a small decimal. Okay, so you've got some practice questions for you to try here if you're ready. Um, so uh, try to spot the mistakes that Jimbo uh, has done on the left 
and then on the right you can try converting these yourself. Okay. So pause the video now and try to find the, uh, the mistakes Chimbo has made and then try to also convert them into uh, normal numbers or standard form. It should take you about five minutes and when you're ready you can press play and see the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A level, and IB maths with quick and simple explanations, and I hope new videos will be useful to you soon. You can also check out advancedmaths.com for more useful resources for your revision. Thanks for watching, and good luck in your exams.